Hello. Welcome back to Hanging with Liz or Cleaning with Liz, whichever you want to call it. Um, so tonight, yeah, I'm looking rough. I know. Um, it's just been a lazy cleaning Sunday. No, today's not Sunday. Monday. Um, Lily goes back to school tomorrow. She's been home sick last Thursday, Friday. Luckily, there was no school today. So she had another day to recuperate. But we had to take her to the emergency room last Thursday. And she had an ear infection. So we were able to get her on an antibiotic. But tonight, I am just going to clean out this cabinet down below real quick. Um, it shouldn't take too long. But it needs some serious help. Because... There's a lot going on down here, and I'm tired of dealing with it. So, I think this will be cleaning my kitchen part three. Um, I'll have to double check. But, if it's not, I apologize. If it is, I'm glad I'm right. <laughs> but, I'm going to show you the cabinet that we're going to work on. Um, and, I'm just going to pull everything out and give it a good wipe down. So... Actually, let me take the camera off the tripod, and then I'll be able to show you better. Okay. So, it's the bottom cabinet. I use it for, like, my pots and pans. Um, the only thing I don't like is how they have this middle bar here. I really wish this wasn't here. But it does help, um, of course, from things falling through, and I'm sure for the structure of it. But, yeah. So, we're going to clean out this cabinet. Um, ooh, sorry about my fingers, I'm trying to hold it. So in there, probably going to turn my ring light on to have some more light down here. But there's some containers in there, some pans. It's gotten really dirty. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Um, some of it I know is like marks that are in the wood that were there when we moved here. Um, but... We're going we're gonna to pull everything out and give it a good wipe down and then put everything back. So, let's get started. As you can see I got it emptied out so now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna vacuum to vacuum up the dirtiness and then I'm gonna wipe it down so we're gonna keep going So I'm back and now we're going to wipe it down and clean it out. My timer just went off because it's time to give Lily her antibiotic. So I'm going to give her that real quick. And then I'm going to get to wiping down the cabinets. Finish wiping them down. 
So if you see me using this, like a scrubber, <coughs> um, that's to try and get, because the bottom cabinets, they're closer to the stove. So I feel like grease and everything just, even though it's diagonally down from the stove, just still splatters on them or something. They get really dirty. So I'm trying to scrub that off, but I'm almost done cleaning out the cabinets and then I'll be able to put everything back. So I'm going to take a moment, give her her medicine, get her ready for bed. She still has another half an hour, so I'll see if she wants to wait or go after I give her her medicine. But when I'm done with that, I will be back. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I was talking about by the door and by the stuff on it. I'm gonna give you like a close up if I can. Down there, one hand is wet so I can't really show it very well. But I think you can see it down there on the do bottom of the door. That is the stuff that I was trying to scrub off with the, with the scrub brush. Um, so yeah, so that's what I was trying to get off. So I'm gonna have, except for the other side wasn't quite as bad as this one. And now the other side is a lot better. Um, so I don't know, I don't know what it is. I don't know how it gets down there. It's just like a crevice for some magnet to dust or something. I don't know, it's weird. So first I'm going over it with my sponge, which this is an old sponge, this is not my dish sponge. It actually is the one that I was using and then it got to the point where I need to switch up sponges. So I'm gonna so I decided to take it and use it for cleaning. Um close that for now. There we go, it's a lot easier. And then I can get in there a lot easier and wipe it down. cabinets are done I am now going to put everything back they're as clean as I'm going to get them for tonight um, so I'm going to wash my hands real quick and then I'm going to start putting everything back
right, I am done. That actually did not take long at all. It took me about the hour that I expected. Um, so I got it done. Now I'm gonna flip the camera and show you what it's looking like. It's a lot better. It feels a lot cleaner. It feels more organized. There's still a couple things in there that I think I will move once I organize uh, the other cabinet on the other side and put those containers where they go. But that's it. And of course I have more pans that go in here too once my dishes are dry tomorrow. So I'm gonna flip the camera and I'm gonna show you what it's looking like. What you think? So much better. Oh my gosh. Like, look at that, it's clean. So my lids are back in the lid rack where they go. My pans are flat again, the way they should be sitting. See, there's like <laughs> containers that don't really belong in here, but are in here for now. Um, and then over there I have some uh, pans, like cake pans and stuff for Christmas that I actually forgot I had. So I'll have to remember next year some cute ones. Um, some pots. We need new pots and pans so bad. Unfortunately, we can't afford them right now, but once we can, we need new ones desperately. But they work. They cook our food. That's all that matters, right? So that is it for that. Thank you for watching. I hope you got some inspiration to get up and clean something in your home. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this gave you some inspiration if you need it to clean something at your home. Um, again, you know, this is life. We're starting over. We're getting things done, feeling the best we can feel, right? And look at this. I don't go out like this. I have no makeup on right now. This is real life. You're getting me 100% real. Um, there's no faking it here. Um... I, w I don't even leave my house without makeup on, without my hair done. This is not okay for me. <laughs> but after I got done with dinner and dishes, I decided that I needed to get that cabinet done. And I decided, you know what? I'm not going and putting makeup on and doing all that just to record this video today. I don't have the time, the energy. I've been dealing with a sick child the last few days. It's been a lot going on. But I got it done. I'm happy. Another thing checked off the list. So... Go get something done. And if you got something done, comment below what you did. Um, comment below Comment below if these give you inspiration, if you want to see more. I'm trying to get these up. This makes two videos now that I need to edit. I got one edited ready to go up. So tomorrow I'm going to post that and try and get these two videos edited. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you have a great night, day, evening, whenever you're watching this. And I will... Be back later. Thanks for watching. Peace.